through this, okay? I want my baby, Ali. Well, you've Darren browned him with that video game. Just waved a selection box in his face. He didn't even blink. Must be a magician, eh? Mm. Well, can you conjure me up a cup of tea, please? Some beers in the fridge and all, if you like. Unless you're saving yourself for Rita's party. Yeah, do you really want to go that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we should show our faces. Although, about Ali will be there. What was he on about this morning? No. He's just jealous. Can't handle the fact that you've got the looks, the girl, property, her business. Maybe you should have left school earlier, eh? Mm. You don't know how hard you work in that shop. You should have heard him. There's more going on in there than you know. What, you said that? If you need anything, anything at all, you just say the word. Mmm, a large bag for those pregnancy notes wouldn't hurt. Louis Vuitton have got the perfect size. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Uh, yeah, you go. <laughs> well, um, you want me to call him, mother? She'd want to be here. I'm fine. I'm okay. Everything she's been through, now this. That's life, isn't it? <sighs> and you. It, you know, for a long time. She's an amazing woman. Guess we're all guilty of that one time or another with the people we love. I don't even know how to be around Belle knowing what's coming. Just... I thought I was done with secrets. And now I've got to carry this. But Lisa confided in you for a reason. Yeah, and I'm struggling to remember what that reason was. Then let me help you out. You understand people. <laughs> you mean I'm cynical? No, I mean, you see them for who they really are. Bad and good. And everything in between. Do you know what? If we split up, I'm going to stick that on my dating profile. Well, too bad. Because I'm not planning on letting you go. You say that now. And I'll keep on saying it. Charity. You're the strongest person I have ever known. And one day, I even think you might end up being the wisest. Work in progress, then, yeah? Aren't we all? Till the very end. Just wish she'd come home. Yeah, but, like you say, until she and Zach are ready. Yeah. Right, put the pizza in. Yeah, your room looks amazing. You can actually see the floor. And there's a pile of games there by the door for the charity shop, but I'm keeping clued her. Oh, I used to love this as a kid. Bagsy Professor. Mum. Now be Miss Scarlet. And it's only because you fancy it. She doesn't exist. Uh, so? Yeah, so? I used to fancy the beast and beauty and the beast before they turned him back into a prince. Yeah, same. I mean, they never should have done that. They should have just kept him as a beast. Preach. Preach. Mm, pair of weirdos, you two. I've only ever fancied real humans. Uh, especially that human. Anyway, I'm gonna go get a drink and then we can get started. Mm. There's a bottle of wine in the fridge if you fancy it. No, thanks. It's that pear flavoured fizzy one. You hear that? Yeah, but you don't. Tan. Do you think I should go see Jesse? No. Kids skive off from time to time. I should have listened to my dad. If he's crapped doing a practice paper, what's it going to be like when his real exams start? He's just had a little wobble. He'll be fine. It's better it happens now than then. I think it's best if you don't make such a big deal about it. Which is why I think you should go to the symposium. Oh, no, I can't. Think of the opportunity. The networking for a whole week. It could do wonders for the shot. Jacob's more important than the shot. Of course he is. Oh, I could look after him. Oh, I don't know. You want to make him feel like you don't trust him? Kids make mistakes, but you've got to let them learn from them. Go on. Let him prove to you how mature he is. You're quite good at this stuff, aren't you? <laughs> Certainly hope so. <laughs> hey, mate, you're right. We've uh, ditched the pub. 
You're going to get a takeaway, yeah? Yeah, whatever. Um, I'd better go and pack. Good news. I'm moving in whilst your dad's away for work. Really? Uh, yes, but best behave your mind. May has taught me into trusting you. We're going to have the best week. I have been stuck on that bus back from town for an hour and a half. Sorry. Get used to the idea. What do you mean? Well, it was all just a bit mad. She had dad's birthday and the whole pub was watching me. Hey, you know me. Then I saw him all over someone else. You must be mad. Not that I'm complaining. Would you uh, hate it if I did a little happy dance? Well, I'd have to see it first. <gasps> yeah, don't ever <laughs> do that again. <sighs> Can we just... <sighs> my shoes are rubbing. Oh, is that him? The ex? Brother. Good. Hi, Robert. Thanks for abandoning me. Well, I did want a lift. But that was when I phoned. I don't want one now. I'm nearly home. Yeah, bye. He's, um, overprotective. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh... Right, come on. Hop on, Princess. I'm just offering you a piggyback. I'm all right. If it was the other way round, I'd let you carry me. Come on, it's going to take forever like this. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. You sure? Go. Right. We are so nearly there. You said that five minutes ago. I know, but I really, really mean it. OK, stop. Right here. Oh, oh. oh thank God. <laughs> you know, you didn't have to carry me the whole way. Oh, no, she tells me. <laughs> um. Right. I suppose this is it. I'll call you. You haven't got my number. Excellent point. Um... I should go. You're not going to invite me in? Well, it's late. I carried you for miles. I deserve a brew, at least. Come on. <laughs> You've got a kid? He's my nephew. Seb. He's cute. Not as cute as his auntie. Smooth. <laughs> Your feet. I'm in agony. Oh, so am I with my back. I could do with a massage. Nice try. <laughs> so, did you live here on your own? Yeah. I still live with my mum. Sad that, isn't it? A bit. <laughs> I am looking for a place of my own. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> so, what about you? You said you grew up on a farm. Do your mum and dad still live there? Um, They're dead. Oh, God. Me and my big mouth. I'm sorry. No. Do you want to know? I'm such an idiot. Listen, just forget about it. I mean, I could make things really awkward by showing you pictures of my wedding. You're married? I was. We're separated. Don't do your happy dance. <laughs> I wouldn't. So, if you're on a run for the hills, now's your time. I'm not going anywhere. I'm playing footsie on Sunday. You can come and watch it if you like. It could be our second date. We haven't had our first yet. I thought this was it. <laughs> sorry, am I boring you? No. Oh, sorry, I'm just knackered. But. I had a really good night. It's not over yet. I think it is. How long is taxi going to be? I haven't rung yet. Oh. I thought you were doing that while I was making the tea. <laughs> You're trying to get rid of me. No! <laughs> no, but it's late and I've got to be somewhere tomorrow. You've probably got work. I can throw a sickie. Let's just call it a night. You ring a taxi. I'll be back in a second. Oh, 
don't think these shoes are made for dancing. Well, take them off then. Come on, I want to dance, and Alfie's got two left feet. Well, there's no room in here to dance. Well, then we'll make room. Come on. Hang on, bruv. Well, not that it's much healthier. Well, you know, it's, it's okay to miss your friendship with Peter. I mean, despite who he turned out to be, he was important to you. He made a fool out of me. I mean, I, I turned to him for comfort instead of my friends and family. I pushed away all the right people who just wanted to help me. If I may offer you some advice. Please, because I obviously cannot figure things out on my own. Well, wasting energy on self-recrimination for something that over which you had no control is, is just that. It's, it's a waste. You have amazing things in your life right now. An amazing thing. You know? that are far more deserving of your energy. I know. I should be focused on James. I'll just pretend I'm not completely consumed with wanting Peter to pay for what he did. Fake it till you make it. I mean, he's probably on the other side of the world by now. Hong Kong, Singapore, with a new name, a new life. I mean, he's never going to have to pay for what he did. Nothing you could do to Peter could ever bring Nathan back. I know. I would still love to watch him grovel in his misery. Yeah. I, I just hope that any anger you feel towards Peter doesn't distract you from all the good stuff. I was older and I had a proper job and a home and that. I could just bring Ben up myself. A job and a home we can do. But you're gonna have a hard time making yourself older. <laughs> I just feel like I've let him down. Right, well look, how about if I start driving lessons and, and we save up and we get a car, we go and see him every Friday. It is supposed to be really nice, Mads. We could get a, a roomy caravan like my mum. <laughs> Why don't we go and see Ben tomorrow, eh? Find out what's what from Helen and Mike. It is not going to make any difference. He's the only family that I care about, and I get no say in what happens to him at all. How is that fair, Sophie? How is that right? make me laugh. Yeah, he had his moments before he totally lost.
be there bang on time. Look, I've got to go. Um, I'll see you at the meeting. And thanks again for doing these. Yeah, I said that. I feel absolutely fine. I'll speak to you later. Hey, who was that? Oh, it's just Seb, my dear me. Oh, half day, is it? Checking up on me. Hey, don't listen. Forgot me packed lunch. Oh, you should have said I would have brought it over. Nah, I didn't want to bother you. No, oh, just admit it. You wanted to see Abby. I don't have to admit anything. My big brother is so in love with you. Oh, have a word. <laughs> Sorry, you're on your own. So, what's on the agenda today? I haven't really got anything planned. It's just being tied on with snow dundered over there, so I might not be able to pop okay, out later. Stop worrying about me. Do you know what? I'll make us a spot of lunch. Mm -hmm. Sorted. Well, I don't want to be any trouble. No, don't be daft. Anyway, I've got this gorgeous new recipe I am gagging to try out. And you've nothing better to do. Oh, come on. Let me spoil you. It's about time me and you got to know each other better. And she won't take no for an answer. Lunch it is, then. I think you'll find I'm the one who's supposed to be reassuring you. Don't be daft. You've just had major surgery. You've got every right to be exhausted. I'll go back to sleep and I'll see you soon. Yes, I will let people know. <laughs> I love you, Gran. Bye. All good? Yeah. No problems? None at all. Awesome. How's she sound? Almost like her old self. No word of a lie, it was weird. It's like she's literally got a heart back. I've always said, can't keep a person like Yasmin down forever. Yeah, and Jeff's gonna learn that the hard way. Planning on staying? Oh, charming. Oh, sorry, I didn't... I'm only pulling your leg. Stay as long as you like. It doesn't mean that. Uh, who says I don't? Actions, not words. Back it up with that bag of chips you promised and I might start believing you. Oh, all right, all right. Do you want out? No, I'm not that hungry, too. It's not like you. She's been feeling a bit funny. No, I'm all right now. You know what? I'll have a, I'll have a cheese and onion pie. All right, back in a bit. I'll stick the kettle on. It's not going to be a problem, is it? Me being here. It's now to do with me, really. It's Kev's house, isn't it? So it is a problem, then.